Breaking news. Terrible, terrible thing happening to Ashiwajwa Maid Bola Tinubu now. As we speak, a Feni Ferry leader has dumped Tinubu. The Yoruba Social Political Organization, a Feni Ferry, has dumped Tinubu for Peter Obi ahead of 2023 elections. My wonderful people now waiting to happen with this. A Feni Ferry says they don't have faith in Tinubu's leadership. Okay, these are Yoruba socio-political organizations just like we have the Indigos. They said the person they can see, the person, you know, they have faith in that could potentially or possibly bring a lot of difference to Nigeria as it is in the sphere of all that is going on. It's, you know, our very own brother, Peter Obi. Well, my wonderful people, it's happening. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. 2023, Afeni Ferry leaders back Peter Obi says faith in Tinubu Atiku lost. We know Peter Obi very well. That's why we endorse him. He will not disappoint Nigerians. Let's put tribal difference apart and vote the right person in. He urged Nigerians. Leader of Afeni Ferry Ayo Adebanjo has said that he will be supporting Peter Obi presidential candidate of the Labour Party ahead of the 2023 election. Mr. Debanjo made a comment Tuesday while speaking on an online radio program, Yoruba Gulba, saying Mr. Obi will rule independently and that he has lost confidence in the other two political presidential candidates. Ashiwajo Ahmed Bola Tinubu of the All Progressive Congress and Atiku Abubakar, candidate of the People Democratic Party PDP. It is only Peter Obi that can rule independently without the influence of these criminals in government. Tinubu will only give continuity to Buhari incompetence, a Feni Ferry leader has said. We know Peter Obi very well. That's why we are endorsing him. He will not disappoint Nigerians. Put tribal difference apart and vote the right man, he urged Nigerians, saying it is high time we to take the right step and remove tribal sentiment. Mr. Debanjo's comment follows Mr. Tinubu announcing former governor of Borono State, Kashim Setima, as his running mate for the 2023 presidential race. On Sunday, the pan Yoruba Social Political Organization said a combination of Muslim antique. Christian ticket should have been ideal and considered. Rather, Tinubu shunned everyone. Considering the fact that Nigeria is made up of both Christians and Muslims alike, traditionalists and others, atheists, the idea should the ideal thing would have been to have occupy the highest to occupy the highest land in office. They should not belong to the same faith so everyone can feel a part and parcel of the administration, just as it is considered imper imperative for us to occupy this office without with the same tribal person. The same should also ha happen to the presidency. Mr. Tinubu has said that Shatima was elected as his running mate due to the competence and approach to government delivered of devoid of ethnic and religious sentiments. The decision by the ruling party is the first time since 1993 when a major political ticket have a Muslim as both presidential candidates and it will eventually turn sour. Why the Christian Association of Nigeria Khan has raised concerns that Mr. Tinubu will plunge the country into crisis with his decision. APC stakeholders in Borono have praised Tinubu's choice. So, Afeni Ferry are not happy. Afeni Ferry has said it loud and clear. Tinubu, we are not standing with you. We don't have faith in you. What you have done, the decision you have taken, has shown to every one of us that you can't be bothered with the very affair of what is happening to Nigerians. And we can see it loud and clear. Your voice is clear. So, Afeni Ferry have spoken. And um, you can see, uh, and truly, sincerely speaking, you can understand where they are coming from. Ashwajo Ahmed Bola Tinubu has, I mean, with his decision and the choice of what, he, you know, the choice he has made, he has proven to Nigerians that he does not care, you know, who people who continuously say, please, can you make other people apart from, 
you know, those who are Muslims feel part of the government. But guess what? Hey, the guy did not bother to budge or anything. He just turned the deaf ear, blind one, and said, you know what? I can't be bothered. Okay, do your worst. I have made my choice. And so Afeni Ferry has spoken and saying, okay, we appreciate um, your position and uh, we are not to pick your running mate for you. However, we are the ones to vote. Okay, we are the ones to call the shots. We are the ones to vote. We are the ones to make that decision. So let it be. Let it be. So this is exactly what is going on. Uh, Peter Obi is gaining the trust and support of those because he said this is just going to be another extension of Buhari's government, you know, and that's the way Afeni Ferry feels. He says if they give their support based on sentiment, based on, you know, it's going to be another extension of Buhari's administration. And to be quite candid, uh, uh, you know, Tinubu may be from the southeast, but has he proven to Nigerians that, you know, it is not another Buhari's government? I understand, you know, what Tinubu has done in Lagos. In fact, Lagos, you know, a, a, a commercial city, you know, predominantly governed by, you know, commerce, trade and what have you. But uh, uh, since then, you know, things have continued in the same vein. But you know that the APC administration has started on the heels of Buhari, who had failed gallantly. Okay, who had failed gallantly. So is he going to continue with the Buhari's regime or is he going to speak another voice, another language? Or what exactly will become the order of the day? So these are the possibilities and things that are happening and why we all with one accord want to ensure that the truth is being dispensed in all of this. Okay, that the truth is being dispensed. So these are some of the things that are going on and um, it is it is really very important that Nigerians begin to look at things and make the right decision on who they want to see as their presidential candidate. Could it be that Tinubu has a good heart and really ready and does not care what people think? Or could it be that he just wants votes delivered and so that's what he's working for in respective of you know, how others feel, the most important thing to him is that he wins. So we don't know. But again, Nigerians, I mean, everybody has picked their running mate. It is left or, or on us now to go ahead and to pick our candidates. So at the end of the day, okay, we can truly have that man, that woman who sincerely have a heart for us as a nation and is ready to implement things that will move the nation forward. Bye for now.